All right, now, as the four of you reunited once again uh, after your time at the the Feywild domain of Prismere, as, as well as the Witchlight Carnival, you all uh, find yourselves in a non uh, like a kind of a generic warehouse. You've all been hired at urgent notice to fill out uh, for, for, for an excursion by a group called the Shrouded Vaults. Uh, the only, what, what you've kind of heard whispers about is that they contain anomalies. But, you know, they've also known to pay pretty well. And as you find yourselves in a nondescript warehouse, they told you to meet with your contact, Dr. Steel Haver. And at And in walks this dwarf. He's dressed in this poorly matching clothing. He's wearing a violet shirt, an orange cravat, and a tartan vest. And, and, and you know, he's just kind of looks a little disheveled. And then, uh, motion, he just. So like, all right, all right. Uh, glad you guys are here. And then he motions to, like, this. This table with, like,. It looks like they're made from blocks, and there's like a top looks like like a sheet like a like a sheet of iron. Then he has a board, and he's like, "Well, oh, I'm definitely glad you're here. I'm, I'm the I'm the anti antiquarium, and my job is to contain dangerous artifacts. One of them is known as the Calamity Jar." But, so anyways, why you guys are here is every so often this thing issues cryptic demands for exotic objects to be placed within it, and if the demand isn't met in time, some sort of calamity or disaster occurs somewhere. And he's like, well, then you'd be very versed on what you do. Well, this actually... We got a request from our, our Calamity Jar. It says, Within the indeterminable, interminable wastes, pass across the inexorable, inexorable span, with immeasurable haste, get a single vial of sand. I don't know what the indeterminable wastes are. I didn't even know about it until yesterday. I've been contacted through divinations by a local named Malty. And I guess Malty tells me that the interminable waste is a desert. But don't worry about temperature, because it's always eternal sunset. And this inexorable span, whatever, is apparently right in the middle of this desert. But, uh, he says, uh, I guess Malty will put you guys up there in his city. I guess he owns a bar called a Toolbox. And agreed to provide you guys some more much-needed info and transportation. But, uh, anyways, uh, since you're all here, you accept it. You have, like, uh, approximately three days to finish this or something terrible will happen. I guess it does.
as well. I'm sure they do. And uh, you guys receive, he says, I, I have here 15 gold pieces worth of rubies as your compensation. And he says, well, I'll tell you what, uh, here you go. And just kind of hands you all a fork and says, well, I got other things to attend to. And as he gives you this fork, it's a, it's a souvenir platinum dinner fork. And you can see engraved words on it, the toolbox grand opening. And assuming you all just kind of like, you know, kind of hold hands a bit and like touch the fork, it sort of, it sort of hums this, this, this interesting music, play by play, you haven't heard it before, this, it's almost as if like the electricity itself, like, from it, it, it is, is making some tunes. And then, at just just the next moment later, you're in this nondescript warehouse. You just write. You find yourselves in a middle of a city, but unlike other cities, like it's kind of like water deep. But the first thing you notice is the sky. It's a dusky purple, and there's like this enormous, a uh, bluish sun you can kind of see over the horizon, and. You can, that's the only, other than that you're just surrounded by all these all these not all these lights the, these like neon lights you could see you know people kind of walking around and uh, some of these buildings have fancy names like Arcadia fields the fortress of dis dragon horde and the wax palace and then you just see these strange vehicles humming and buzzing and going or uh, 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 around you, you find yourself kind of like in a like a walking path and there's like this other road and they're and they're blaze and these cars are these be these strange land vehicles are, are blazing at you know incredible speeds and you see three glowing lines run down the entire length of a street and two uh, orange and another blue. But uh, you know, kind of, you kind of look to the side. You do see a another large building uh, nearby where it says the toolbox. And, and, and as, as, as you kind of walk in, and you know, it, it's a it's a pretty like sizable, nice little public bar. Um, it, it, you, you look first thing you go as you enter. There's like purple stained hardwood. So, but some looks like scorched or scratched. Um, the the, the furniture's got a, got really kind of nice velvet all around it. There's. Uh, the lighting in the area kind of lights up. It's kind of had this kind of dark. Uh, it looks bright. Sometimes it'll jump to like a, like a it'll fade down. Kind of a a, a a bluish tint. It, it, it and up at the bar, you see this uh, magnum, and it, you just kind of see this. But he's unlike other. He's purple. And he's wearing like this white shirt and a black vest, and he's kind of like, like pouring all the different kinds of drinks, you know, blowing on someone when they light up on fire. And then he just kind of pulls it out. And, you know, serves it to other people, and then kind of sees the four of you.
And as you kind of uh, look, you can see it like I don't think it's like people dress. It's it. You know that they have like solid blues. Like some of the designs are are, are very unique. Yeah. But you know, it, it's not threatening. It's alien, but you know. It's, Kind of alien, but not quite. <laughs> and says, the, the magma kind of opens his arms and says, hey, Come on, come on. I know you, you must be the hired help. Because you must be the hired help. I'm multi-tool. Plunger, like, what's your poison? I, I, I don't know you. Uh, well, you know, you like, like, kind. maybe I should get you some, uh, and, and then he gets out a, a a few drinks, you know, gets like this red uh, liqueur, pour, you know, pours it and makes it. He says, I call this a fireball. Try it. And then he goes to, to uh, Crykick says, uh, no, you, you, you know, pick a poison. Ah, okay. And, and then, well, here's a club. This is what it's called a club soda. And just. Okay. It's, you know, I, I, just a thing. You know, pours a. See, uh, gets like a little shot glass, fills it up, puts it in there, gets like, gets like a, uh, he, 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 uh grab like this contraption, you know, kind of like, like a nozzle and it kind of puts it, says, try that. As you drink, it's like, you, it's like you get the meat, you know, you, you get a beer, but then you get a chaser, like a hard uh, liquor. And then points to Calathea. Uh, yeah. And, and then we'll just, uh... Actually, kind of... He will, uh... Get a... Uh, uh, to get, like, an olive. And uh, pour and mix up the things in this. is a strange glass. He says, we call it a... Get a maltini, a maltini. All right, so I can tell it's your first time in this strange uh, domain, but you know, it's uh, but anyways, the reason you're here is that I need. I, I've heard about your call about this. You need to go to the inexorable span and get a vial of sand. Oh, well, all the comings and goings around here have been, uh, they've been still been waiting for something to happen. Um, our, the archway in this domain named Dream Lover was deposed by a gang called the Sleepless Syndicate, and, uh, well, that's why, that's why everything, you know, is kind of stale here. Nothing ever changes. But something does need to change. And, 
You know, it, 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 it's it feeling the wind. You know, that, that this this news came to me through some uh through some mutual friends at the Shrouded Vaults. Uh, at once I heard what you need to get, I knew, you know, it it was time for for things to reset. But see, the syndicate doesn't want things to change. The fact that you guys are here, sooner or later, that the, the syndicate's gonna come kn knocking on this door. I got a, I got some beef with them. But, but where you need to go, it, 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 it's it's quite a trek over there, and there's only one way to get over there. See the, those vehicles you might have seen that back and forth. Uh, those vehicles. Um, well, that's pretty much the only way anyone can travel out there. So for you to get to the the span, I, 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 you can uh, definitely lend one of my. I'll, I'll lend you one of my vehicles, and then you just gotta get over there. You gotta find. The stopper, which is an inverted temple. You know, find your get in there, and there is where you'll be able and find the inexorable span, and that's where you can find your sands. Oh, no, it's a place. It's a. Uh... Yeah. Like I said, the old Archbay, he, he, you know, liked to constantly change things, but, um, I mean, there wasn't a rhyme or reason to it, but, uh, well, the Syndicate got enough of, uh, enough of the changes, and uh, that's how they were able to get the dirt, this, uh, the Fey to kind of go to a much deeper sleep, so... But more than likely, whatever you guys are going to do is probably going to wake up the Archfey. And of course, Syndicate doesn't want that to happen, so you got to be careful. They, they can they come from anywhere. But uh, speaking of which, any of, you, uh, 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 any of you are good carriage drivers or something? Uh, that's the best way I could think of back, you know, back in the other, the, here we call it driving, you know, who's, like, who's the best driver, but uh, in some of the other domain, in some of the other places, I don't know, if you could ride the land vehicles, I don't know, which one of you is good, good with that? I was just all about to say, if there's anybody that feels like you could, just don't know how. I, I could show, I could try, I could train you. We just, we got to do a little. There, there's a way I can help one of you, you know, uh, learn how to handle our vehicles. You know, we just, you know, we just make a deal that. For this time and period, uh, as I as I imbibe you with the knowledge you need for those vehicles, it's you know I, what, what I would get in return is is I take some of your some of your other knowledges and just kind of kind of put them together. Some would say like a trade, but So, like, out of game terms, he's offering a Feywild pack for someone to get proficiency in land vehicles if they don't have it, and in return, you are uh, giving up two skills for the duration of the uh, adventure.
Sure. sure. Uh, you need very, very dex. You know, you need you need a good hand-eye coordination. Okay. And then what you can do, you can just I guess just make a new skill, just uh, using dex instead of athletics for. Oh no, land vehicles. It's it's used. I think it's. Ugh. Anyways, it it would be dexterity land vehicles. It says, uh, our vehicles here. I could sit about four of you, but I don't know if you. They go, they go really fast. I can also lend you lend you all a bike if you want, but I think the four of you could fit into a into a vehicle. Oh, and then for the ritual, he will kind of have it set you downhill. Have about two different shot glasses. Um, you kind of meant, you know, kind of mention your thoughts, your insight. You see, him just kind of almost like uh, you see, you get like uh, tweezers, just kind of pluck something in the air, and then it, you just see him put it in a bottle, mix it, and then it, it turn it turns orange, then pluck something else, and then he puts another bottle, mix it, and then sort of pours you a shot, and then gets a clear bottle. Pours himself a shot, the crack egg, and you know, says, let's say salut sometime. And then we'll uh, take his drink, and the crack egg, when you take yours, um, you, you, you feel like it, it, the, the knowledge just kind of comes to you, you know, just. And you feel like, oh, you know, you, just, you know, it. It's like it's like years worth of training just coming right in your fingertips. No, it, it it'll just be land vehicles. They're very generic. But you could get a you could get like a little a, a flash of like, you know, if you're on a bike, you can kind of, uh, you know, if you twist it a certain way, it can go fast, and you know how to maneuver side to side, or like if you're in a, like a larger vehicle. You know, you, you have to have one hand on like this the small stick, and 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 every direction you pull, you can go a little bit, you know, much faster. And this wheel that you can master in turns, you can even like, you even have this vision that you, you can sort of go in circles. You can almost kind of drift. But uh, I like they, you know, they kind of look at you. Like, you look like you wanted uh, to learn how, learn how to drive as well. Uh, yeah, because I think you said you were interested in driving, so I didn't know if you were. Oh, okay, you don't want to drive. Oh, okay. Well, you know, as you guys are, Moose is like, you guys have drinks, and then he says, "Oh, I have uh, these little little tacos. You can we can have as as we're talking. That's really good." It says you're gonna have to go through a a, a, a few different areas. One, you're gonna have to go to the indelible district. It's uh, a lot of sands. You have to go past the restless dunes, uh, the faithless pass, and where you and then you will find the stopper. 
don't worry, the the vehicles know where to go. All you have to do is put the pedal to the metal. And then as kind of walks into this yeah, he he sort of uh takes you all to a garage of sorts. You see this other large uh, larger room and you see these different kind you know the the, the, the cars just outside like different kinds and he says all right uh, you can pick any one of them Uh, you see about uh, seven different uh, views. I'll kind of do it like um, some painted. Oh, wait, do you? Yeah. You do see a one with like flames attached to it. You see one that's you know, nice stripes, you know, blue and gold. You see kind of a more, tr uh, you know, a different other kind of vehicle, different colors. This a bright yellow. This is white and blue. This other really, definitely more alien of the vehicles. You know, it's it, it's got you know all these sleek and like sh you know shapes. And then you just got this one that's looks a, a little more beat up than the others, but it's got like the skull motif. Green, no, blues. So, as you all kind of you know, pile in there, and you know what, this one is definitely more, you know, it, it, it's, there's like a creak sound when, when you open, like this door, and like it's little, like you kind of all kind of squeeze into this, you know, in, into this strange land, this strange land vehicle. But like, like Craig, as soon as you kind of fit into the seat, you can kind of start, you know, know how to get it going and moving, and it just, just, just kind of roars, you know, just, just kind of roars and has this like guttural, you know, to, to life as, as you're kind of behind the wheel. Uh, no, I, I had to grab like random, I just. Then I roll twenty and I was like, uh, or on the search, I'm like, uh, I need car tokens. Sure. Yeah. Now that. Uh, uh, I think this is a. Uh, I think it'll still fit the normal. Too much bigger. But as you guys are, as it kind of introduce you to, to the vehicles, suddenly you hear this loud kind of crash, kind of behind it from the bar. You hear some uh, voices, loud, uh, loud voice, and he says, It's the syndicate. You guys need to get out of here. And then he just hits a button, and then you just see this door sort of open. Oh, that kind of leads out into the main road ahead. And then, yep, yeah, as you put the pedal and you start roaring to life, you can kind of see in the rear view mirror, you, you see 
uh, a bunch of ogres kind of like bust down the door. Then you, see, you see the Magnum just kind of like uh, kind of cower as they all kind of surround him, and you know they they, they start uh, throwing some punches in the corner. As you Uh, yeah, yeah, they're the the part of a syndicate that uh, doesn't want uh, you all to get this wireless sand because it'll inevitably wake up the archfey, which they don't want. Yeah, the the box that hired you is like, yep, give me the open, give me the sand. And here we have chase rules and route. So, uh, I mean, I generically this is just a bunch of uh, skill challenges. You could do other things on your turn. So, um, how they will go is first it'll be just you guys go, and then the after you guys finish, then. Uh, who's ever pursuing you, you know, per round, um, they get to do stuff. Either do damage or cause you failures. We'll, we'll instantly give you a failure. And if you get about six failures, um, you, you crash in the car chase. Um, and then you'll have damage, and then you have to kind of fight kind of more generically. Uh, but otherwise, um, you all will just have, you guys are just um, traveling to uh, different parts. Um, most things, uh, you can either try to just evade uh, the, the pursuing forces, or you have, to, or you're going to try to destroy them. But, I mean, it, it's either use a skill, you know, it's kind of, it's a more open-ended how you want to do it, or, you know, if you want to use a certain ability... Okay, it's all, it's mostly theater of the mind. Um, actually, this whole kind of chase. Um, yes. And the uh, ideal goal is to make it to the stopper without crashing. Oh, but you get an additional success, so it's like, uh, hey, you know, that can definitely help. So, I, it's, uh, I mean, it's different, and, and it's, it's kind of, kind of fun, kind of seeing how this, uh, all this will go. So, I mean, kind of a huge chunk of the module is pretty much just uh, a, a huge car chase. So, but, you know, you guys are kind of open to how you want to do it. Initiative, it's pretty much going to be you all. I mean, we can just roll initiative like normal, or um, you can just kind of pick amongst yourselves how you all want to go. So, just to kind of give you an idea, like the first area you go to is you pass by these refineries and you see the smog kind of overhead as you're kind of racing through like this mountains of exotic dyes and magical sands, you know, blind arcs of light, uh, which the first thing you see is about a couple of motorcycle uh, of these uh, the, the small like bikes and it looks like they are and by the uh, little uh, quicklings as these two are going and then behind them and then again kind of reusing some of these uh, things you see these kind of the larger vehicles and they're all which ogres you can kind of see some of the ogres 
uh, are kind of like uh, in front trying to chase you all down. Let's get those tokens. And kind of ideally. And. So. Uh, do you guys want one roll initiative, or do you want to just kind of pick amongst yourselves? Yeah, definitely. So, and the important thing here, um, I mean, it's either you just do kind of like just a, you know how you want to help with the skill, you know. We're not going to worry necessarily about distance, you know, because, you know, again, like any those, you know, car chases, sometimes they can get real close, they can get real far, and, you know, I'm not going to worry about, you know, not going to really move squares or anything. Okay, well, uh, uh, I just, uh, just kind of persuasion. Uh, we are in the first place. That's the place that gives you fire damage, I believe. The wastes. Yeah, the indelible district. So, yep. So yes, it does the extra damage and stunning, but you get two successes. Okay, okay. So kind of... Uh, Dece uh, well, I guess at that point, deception or persuasion is uh... okay. All right, yeah, I'm down with that. It, it, it's very convincing. Wow. Yeah, no, that that is a good turn. Uh, you know, you you see one uh, the motorcycle just kind of, uh, it kind of veers off, you know, uh, sort of veering off. And then who would like to go next? Ooh, all right, go ahead. It, it is very inspiring. There we go. 
uh, you know, you feel like with push uh, uh, from uh, Flavor uh, Flav, you're able, you're able to kind of you look pass through like kind of abandoned, kind of uh, start evading, and then you, you kind of see one of the other uh, a motorcycle just kind of uh, like curve and then spin around, and then it just sort of slams into a wall. Uh, they they could be. Uh, what you thinking? Okay, so um, like a green flame blade or something. Oh, web. Oh, okay. No. Oh, oh, that works. Okay. Oh, I, um, sure, sure, yeah, uh, let us do, because uh, everything is just, okay, uh, you, you see, um, uh, you know, you kind of wait until they kind of, uh, a line, and then you can just kind of throw. You, you see one of the uh, one of the vehicles just kind of gets uh, splatters moves around. The other one just kind of uses them and kind of pushes right past it. And they're both slowed, but uh, the ogre is just kind of trailing behind with the webs. I want to do anything else? All right, sounds cool. And last but certainly not least. Okay. Sorry, just deception, or you, you cast him a spell? Uh, sure, it's fine. Okay. You can kind of see, uh... This uh this vehicle kind of kind of moves and, and sort of smashes into into like another vehicle and it just kind of you see like that uh, you, you see one well, the sides of it almost like this the tires all kind of wobbly it's still going and it's kind of sputtering but but it's still going uh, this one looks like you know a little dinged but uh, still. So, and on their turn, um, you, you see kind of uh, one of them, like this one, will, will just kind of, uh, speed, as, as it kind of speeds up, it, it sort of, uh, smacks into the, you know, try, tries to smack into the back, you guys kind of jolt a little bit, as your car, as you kind of get dinged a little bit. And this one, as this is going, you see, like, on the passenger side, these, like, two ogres, and one of them gets a chain and just kind of whips around and it actually will target, you know, I'm going to go, what? I forgot to set here. A D for Calathea. You see, it just, just whips a chain and kind of hits, kind of 
change to the glass and just kind of nicks you for, well, kind of hits you for 20 points of damage. Yes. And, and then you see just one of the ogres like kind of like point to you and then just kind of does like the, 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 uh, the mouthing like Uh, no, it, it, it's they, they are very much, uh, since it's kind of a skill check, they just kind of do either a failure or they just do damage to somebody. Uh, your successes. So your successes will uh, eventually, once they take them out... Then you guys don't like any success, they'll all take the fit, they'll all like get like failures. That's so, why, like, the bikes initially sort of veering off course when you guys are going. So, but you guys are making like really, um. Doing a very good job on the evasion. But it is your guys' turn. It's, it's, it, they can, it, it's not very, it just did it just for, um, effect for the thing. I mean, it's, there really is no like speeds or things or distinct just for flavor text. But that's what we like web. I'm just like ah, you just you just do it. We're not gonna worry about like are they in a line. It's like how ah, we'll just say they're in a line. Almost. What you, oh, what you thinking? Sure, no. Well, I would say look at it this way, like I mean either way you you're either way you're either rolling the hit or rolling arcana. So either way you're still It's up to you. Like I said, you you, you can kind of do uh do something but i will say if you want to really kind of hit that thing do an extra thing i can uh, it's a i can make it pretty good pretty big win it's a big risk and i like it all right yeah go ahead and give me an attack roll Of course. You know, do you think, um, as a party, was there any way that Kalitha could have advantage? Sweet. All right, and is in a stunning 
stunning more for some, a spectacular as you see this you know, fire this bolt hits the, this this car you know veers it uh, crashes into the other vehicle with the that had the ogre that hit you with the chain you see him just get crushed between both vehicles as they both kind of uh, tumble off the road and they you just see just explode it can explode uh, you know unfortunately like I said you know the, the, the heat from it just kind of hits and as you take that I think uh, the, the extra fire damage from the heat so you know half the nine and then for that moment you're just kind of stunned at how awesome you know spectacle it was and on that note, we will pause as I am putting kids to bed.